compared to a real knife, it's not going to do anywhere near as much damage, which is why the majority of martial arts that do knife defenses and whatever will train with this. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the cold steel training knife we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking about some of its features, who would use this, and at the end, I'm going to put together a short montage of people practicing knife defenses in martial arts. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you like this video, click the little button in the right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the cold steel training knife we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So Cold Steel is an American company that produces loads of different weapons and known for being very, very tough, very durable weapons. Now some of the weapons, a lot of the weapons that they make aren't really relevant to martial arts. Um, they tend to be more sort of hunting knives and whatnot. But there is a certain percentage of stuff that they sell that is very relevant for martial arts and it's really 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 good quality and known for being very very tough so one of these things that they make is this cold steel training knife now they produce a number of different training knives um, but this one is probably the most familiar and it's based they call it the leatherneck sf but it's just based on i guess a regular hunting knife now Training knives are really, really good in martial arts for the obvious reasons that if you train with real knives, you tend to lose training partners pretty quickly. So having training knives completely unsharp, no edge to them whatsoever, is really, really useful. Now through the years, there's been sort of a more popular version or sort of a most used version of training knives. But these in recent years have become really, really popular with the self-defense styles, mainly because they're so durable. Now, a lot of the older style training knives would break or like kind of fall apart or whatever whereas these are so durable that they you know it's almost like a one-time buy you buy one of these and you never have to buy another one now cold steel products are kind of known for this of being hyper hyper durable like the Bokken and the screamer sticks that they sell they say are unbreakable now they don't claim that this is unbreakable at all I guess I guess because it is quite a bit smaller and thinner there is a possible chance that you could potentially break it but in a martial arts setting I I can't believe that you'd be able to break this it's like it is such a durable durable knife now it is made out of a plastic so it's like a black black kind of polypropylene plastic really 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 hard wearing now because it's not made of metal and it's not sharp does that mean that you're not gonna get hurt at all absolutely not this thing is still gonna clock you you're gonna know about it now if you get it on the head you know because of because it's relatively thin it's gonna give you a hell of a bruise also if you stabbed someone with it and they missed whatever defense they were trying and you got it in the ribs or in the head or whatever it's gonna it's gonna do some damage now compared to a real knife it's not gonna do anywhere near as much damage as as as, as the yeah, live live blade wood but it's still gonna hurt so it's not 100% safety free but it's it's like so much more safer than a live weapon which is why the majority of martial arts that do knife defenses and whatever will train with this or something like this so what styles train is what styles like if you want to get into uh, practicing knife defenses practicing self-defense what styles do this now there are some traditional styles that will practice knife defenses they tend to be like the japanese jiu-jitsu's ninjutsu's possibly Aikido I mean they're not really known for it but you might get some schools that kind of move into that a little bit but yeah Japanese Jiu Jitsu and Ninjutsu are the two main like traditional martial arts that do knife defenses and then you're moving into modern ones so there's a lot more sort of modern style martial arts that will do knife defenses stuff like Sistema and Krav Maga oh, Krav Maga recently has become very very big very popular the, their method of teaching seems to suit people at, at, like at the moment um, and you also get other systems like Casey fighting methods fast defense systems stuff like that and they they do a lot 
lot more focused on self-defense, self-protection. So knife defenses are a fairly large part of the training that you'll do doing those stunts. So just looking at some of the features on this knife and something that stands them out amongst other knives that I'll, I'll show you in a bit. But one, it's got this little guard on it. Now this this means it's just sitting in your hand. So you're not you're not without the guard you're not got the risk of sort of sliding over over the top of it sort of pinging out your hand and also it's got quite a good ergonomic grip as you'd expect on the real life version of this knife so it's got a nice good handhold and the grip on it and a, and a reasonable length blade and it's the type of thing that in a, in a knife defense is big enough to see um, and it's also you know real enough to expect that something like like this could could be uh, you could get attacked with so yeah, really good, nice plastic, nice feel, but having the guard and the good good shaped rounded handle is a, is a really nice feature that kind of stands this above other knives sort of in, in the martial arts world. Just having a look at dimensions, I'll put all the dimensions of the knife on the website, but just give you an idea of what you're gonna be getting. This measures in, in length, at 12 inches 30 centimeters and looking at the weight this weighs at 120 grams so nice and lightweight perfect for swinging around practicing knife defenses so at Enzo Martial Arts we have quite a wide range of self-defense weapons for training so as well as the cold steel training knife we also have the cold steel peacekeeper knife the old school rubber knife and the very popular aluminium training knife. We do two types of wooden knife, the red oak tanto and the white oak tanto. We do two types of kubatan, including the silver kubatan, two types of the cold steel American Koga and the rubber training gun. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people practicing knife defenses in martial arts. Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the cold steel training knife that we have for sale at Enzo. If you like this video, click the little button in the right hand corner, subscribe to this channel, get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.